Okay, so I'm going to do an 11 by 22 inch uh, panorama of the lighthouse. So I'm all set up. Let me show you what I got going on. Okay, so I've got my assortment of brushes here, mostly just a variety of flats, no particular brand. Then uh, I've got my odorless mineral spirits here. I'm using Gamsol. Um, and then for my medium, I've got Liquin, which is a fast drying medium uh, by Windsor & Newton. And then I've got my usual uh, palette of colors here. Uh, this is some extra mineral spirits. And then I carry my uh, liquid around in this container. This is where I keep my extra stuff. It's just an old vitamin bottle. The colors I've got today, I've got like Naples Yellow Light, Cad Yellow Lemon, Titanium White, Cad Yellow Light, Yellow Ochre, Burnt Sienna, uh, Cad Red Light, Alizarin Crimson, Ultramarine, Cerulean Hue, and then just some black left over from uh, when I did a cityscape recently. So I use ivory black sometimes when I'm doing cityscapes uh, just to mix with like say ultramarine and a little bit of red to create a good street color, uh, kind of a nice dark gray. But um, I'm also finding that ivory black is, is really nice for mixing greens. If you mix a little bit of yellow with it, uh, it's like kind of a very dark olivey kind of green. So that can be really useful. Okay, so I'm doing my usual uh, procedure here, just sort of positioning all of the um, elements uh, using a, like a quick sketch of burnt sienna. And I'm not trying to be detailed or anything, just sort of positioning things and then stepping back to see how I like the composition. All right, here's what I've got so far. And I kind of like the way things are positioned, so I'm gonna keep going.
Okay, so I've scrubbed in approximate colors and you know, I'm just trying to be as accurate as possible, but I'm not trying to be too perfect about it. And uh, so let me show you what I got so far. Okay, well the sun is going down. I've been out here for a while and um, got a lot of phone calls, talked to people, so the painting process was completely broken up, which was fine. Um, so let me show you what I finished with. Okay, so that's where I'm gonna leave it and then I can either come back or do some touch-ups at home. So I think I've got probably about two hours in at this point. Um, I do like the composition, but you know, obviously I need to get it home and sort of experiment around with it and, and maybe even bring it back out here. Um, but it was a good time as usual. I always love coming to Monterra Light. This is like one of my favorite spots. You guys probably know that. So anyway, uh, thanks for hanging out and I will see you in the next video.